Hey everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. I'm your host PickleNova72. And today we're going to get started off by reading some mail. Mario, I have a letter for you. Certificate of Commemoration. Or com commend Commendation. Wow, even we couldn't get the star on Honey Bloop Galaxy. Here is a reward for you bravery. Please accept this uh, life. From the honeybee. So, uh... Yeah, sometimes random characters will just send you mail. Uh, for no reason. Which kind of adds character, really, to the game, I'd say. Um, in that, in the first game, the only people who would send you mail is Peach and uh, Luigi. But this time you got the Chimp, and Peach, and uh, mail from other files, and random characters. So, it adds a lot, I'd say. It's just the little things that uh, are significant. Anyway, we're here in uh, Cosmic... Cove Galaxy, and that shell is like dancing in the sky. And I'm really hopeful that we don't get any errors like the ones, or any interruptions for that matter, that have plagued the last two episodes. I'm sorry you do that, and I would re record if I could, but you know, this game is also, uh, has no way to load files, well, not copy files, or any backup, uh, What are they called? Like, backup. In case of emergency. I know there's a word for that. Backup. Uh. God. I, I know it'll come to me eventually. But, like. Yeah, I don't have any plan. Backup plan. Was it plan? Was I looking for the word plan? Did I kind of not think of the word plan? Oh my god. Yeah, so I don't have a backup plan. Because, uh. If you. This game does not let you copy files, and if you get a star, it autosaves, so you can't even stop the save. So, if I get a failed recording, I'm screwed. So, and especially with this, it seems to be like, I don't know, something with my capture card. I might have to get an entirely new capture card, which I really hope not, because this one's served me pretty well since I got it, like, a year and a half ago. Is it really that long ago? Yeah, I guess it must have been. Jeez. Yeah, okay. Well, um... Anyway, back to the game. We're back in Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Uh, this time, doing the star like we're supposed to. Although, I guess I've just kind of been flying around in the shell. But it's so fun! I can't not. You can get a one-up from that box. Also, avoid the, uh... Oh, damn it. The jellyfish. I wonder what happens if you throw a shell to the right of it. No, I wonder what happens if you throw a shell at it, is what I was gonna say and do, but, uh. Uh, nothing. Or well, very little, at least. Okay. A little disappointing. Oh, uh, what do you guys say? Surface if you need air. Wow. Thanks for the, uh. the obvious. Now oh, here you can have another swing star to get, get more uh, star bits in the air. We got more of those water spiders from Galaxy 64 and uh, Sunshine. And over here we have another swing star, which will get us that other uh, circle. Alright, and with enough fooling around. I guess we should actually do the star proper. So, I like the music so much, I want to prolong it. Alright. So what I want to do is... Whoa! Whoa! Mario's glitching out on this side of the thing. Oh my god. Uh, okay. That was <laughs> kind of funny, actually. Anyway, talk to the penguin. Oh, I'm sick of swimming all the time. Is it ice skating season? Yes? And your answer is, you bet it is. Hitting this button, just like in the planet with the bunnies, will turn the entire planet frozen solid. So yeah, another reason I like the Cosmic Cove Galaxy music is that it also has like this icy feel to it. Besides it being you know mysterious and also soothing, kind of like water, but like it also has feels a little bit cold too, like you know ice, and that's why it fits this galaxy so well. That's why I like it. Anyway, uh, 
head over here to the this warp pipe. And we got a little bonus game with three dice. So, uh, let's hit him. Let's see, we got a star bitch. Oh, we actually got lucky with an extra life. And another star bitch. Alright. So, a little bit less than lucky, considering you have a one in two chance of getting either star bits or uh, a life. You know, get a life. I'm pretty sure that joke has been made in for video games many, many times. What you gotta say, Penguin Elder? Oh ho, that waterfall there. Are you the one responsible for freezing it? You must have faith in your wall jump technique, eh? Yeah, if that wasn't an obvious hint to where the star is, I don't know what it is. Also, side note, how do you freeze an entire waterfall? Because the water's moving, it wouldn't freeze on its own unless, it, the, unless it's really cold. But in that case, how does Mario f surviving without any special protection or clothing? Whatever. Video game logic. Nintendo logic. But it's not the, I mean, other video games use freezing water and waterfalls at the same time. It's not just this game. Alright. So, let's actually go up and get the star, I guess. That's no fun. So just jump up there, up the two waterfalls. Break open the crystal that the star was in, and grab it. And we got our star. Alright. So, uh, we don't have any arrows yet, and no interruptions yet, so, it's actually turning out to be a pretty good episode for once. And if you're, if you're wondering why I keep talking about this, because this is all during the same recording session, and I've had to deal with a lot already, so. Anyway, back into Cosmic Cove Galaxy for the second star. I think this is one of the only, I think this might be the only galaxy in, uh, World 2 that... Autumn, um, has two regular stars, or, like, all the other ones only have one. And then uh, a few of them have, like, secret stars along with them, but most of them only had one to begin with. So that's interesting. Anyway, we have, a uh, Luma inside a protective little cage. And this guy's trapped in there, so everyone's looking out looking for the key. So, we gotta go find a key. Uh, no water this time, it just starts you out with the ice. Where's the key? I don't know. Maybe where the beef is. Uh, you got these things back from Mario. Galaxy 1. You spin near them and then run into them. to get a coin. Also, frozen cheap cheeps work a lot like frozen water, spider, wet dry water things. Which I really wish I knew the name of, but I'm too lazy to figure out. There's one thing that always kind of boggles my mind. Since, like, the days of the, like, retro, uh, Mario games, there have been a lot more enemies added to the game, but, like, nobody knows their names. They only know, like, the regular enemies, like, you know, the Lakitu, the Hammer Bro, the... Whoa, that penguin is glitching out on that pipe. At least he was. Ah, this, this recording has just been, like, the episode of technology being weird. It's easy glitching. It's like totally glitching. Anyway, you head into this pipe. You can't go through the underwater passage, obviously, because it's frozen over. But now we've entered another one of the 2D sections. Swim faster, Bay. There's also a uh, box down here. Down here, I say, with a coin. In case you want that. Remember that they do, uh, coins do restore a little bit of your health. And, more importantly, some of your, uh, Air meter. So that's probably what they're really gonna be used for. Whenever you see a switch, spin next to it to uh flip it on. Pretty, you know, self explanatory stuff. Uh more penguins telling us how to swim that we've learned, you know, so long ago. But yeah, you can grab a coin to get more air, as well as if it's in a bubble you get a full air supply, I believe. Some coins up there if you want them, but uh, coins are pretty much pointless in this level. Make sure you do keep your air up, though. Don't wanna be dying, although you 
can probably make it through here without hitting any coins, or at least only one. Thank you, Blue. Ah, kind of a lot. So here, flip the flip the switch. I said, uh, open the door, like so, and now we got eels. Why did it have to be the eels? No, 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 no. Oh. I thought I could swim past it, but I did a pretty bad job of it. Yeah, you can't swim past them. Ha. All right, and then into this pipe. Which will take us into space. Somehow. Like, no, seriously, how did we get here? That pipe came out of the ground. There's nothing connected to it. And how is this water floating? Into cube shape. Then, nah. Nintendo logic. At its finest. No, 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 no. Get, take me back. Take me back. Thank you. Yeah, uh, be careful with this water. And with explosives. Uh, because one of them, or the water, you might drop out of the sky and, you know, fall into space or a black hole. Uh, and the explosives will explode, so don't hit them either. And I'm cutting these way too close a little bit. Well, not way too close. Anyway, head up here. The penguin. This thing keeps going and going. I think you have to dive in there. You're not the boss of me! I can swim in there if I want to. No! I should have listened to the penguin. Oh well. <laughs> Boost from the Goomba. Alright, fine, penguin. I'll play by your rules this time. I'll wait for the other box. Jeez. Alright, come on. Come here. Floating, moving cubes of water. Because, you know, this makes sense. Here we have a Luma made out of star bits in the background. And the key! Which will open up that Luma's cage. Now, obviously, they're not going to make us go all the way back. That'd be just cruel. We just get a warp pipe back, luckily. And let's talk to him. Woo, thanks! It was more human in there than you think. Okay. Anyway, with that, he blasts us off to... Uh... This... Stall room. Some vacation. I can't go swimming because everything is frozen. Grr. Oh, Mario, I didn't even see you there. I've been, um, working hard on this mission to help you find the power star. Oh, look, there's a power star over there. Yep, knew it all along. Typical toads, not doing their work, and taking credit for everything I do. Anyway. Here we have some interesting new enemies. Uh, these are like, alien blob guys that are electric and will like, pound themselves into the ground to form a little electrical, uh, barrier. Oh, come on. I totally fallen off the way for that. Silly game. Whatever. Yeah, there is a... Ow! Spin dig. Uh, or a spin drill, not a spin dig. That's a galaxy. Yeah, there is a spin drill, but first you want to take out all the alien blobby creatures. Then again, how do you really like to find an alien when you, in this game you're mo constantly moving from planet to planet? I mean... It's really tough to say one thing to an alien. Anyway, uh, when you pick up the spinning drill, if you dig there, uh, you won't get anything good. If you dig here, uh, same thing. Just bounces off. And over down here, uh, should be the one that does not get you over there, but it does give you an extra life. So, that's nice. Ah, no, it's this one. You want to get in the middle of this strip, and then dig across. And there we go. Now we got these, uh, Mecha Bowsers. And wow, first try, I got the, uh, key one. Yeah, these things, uh, do not die to, uh, what are they called? Spinning or jumping on them, you have to ground pound them. 
up. Alright. So, I wonder if anyone would give you like a life or something. Thing. Alright, I don't think so. So, let's dig. Wait, that goes back. Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to go dig the other dirt pile. So you dig in there, and the wa the planet just explodes with water. And that will allow us to swim over to the platform. And there's our star. Alright, good. And for once, fingers crossed, no errors in our recording, and no interruptions. Oh, and we're at the bottom of the starship, so I guess something else is happening. Oh, and the Cosmic Cove Galaxy is apparently complete. That's cool. What you got for me, Lubba? Hmm, a sassy penguin on board the spaceship. That's a new one for me. Oh yeah, we I, that's right. We went to a penguin place. Of course we're gonna get a penguin. Well, he seems to want to live with you. I wouldn't keep that one waiting. Alright. So, what's up, penguin? Check remote when you're in water for a boost of speed. All penguins don't know that. Yeah, but I did. Because I am you know, smarter than the game. Alright. So, uh, with that, we've completed every galaxy in World 2, except for, um, the boss. Obviously, we have enough stars to advance, but I think we're going to hold off until next episode to take on Bowser for this, uh, world. So. Yeah, sorry that this uh, video was a little bit shorter, but, uh, I'm sure you guys won't mind, right? I mean, the other two episodes were a little bit longer, so it kind of bounces out. Anyway, with that, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for when we take on the boss of World 2. See you guys then.